AV. Michael called. Before sundown. Out front of the mega tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then. Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Deacon and welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. Now before we commence this episode, do not forget to Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys, recommend my channel to everybody that you know, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and of course as always, please enjoy. We're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Maiko? Where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? Let's do this. All righty. Make sure my shit's ready, yeah. yeah okay. I'm Jillian Jordan. Scientists from Biodyne Systems have announced a breakthrough in yep. multiple sclerosis. MS is one of the You two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. But the experts at Biodyne have created Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. ...into the spinal cord provide long-term uninterruptible oh, care to the neural tissue. Okay. Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? Sure. What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But oh, first, okay. you gotta get into the penthouse. Uh, you gonna breach security? Get me in the penthouse? Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Copy. Gotta manage on your own. Alrighty. Okay, on my way. Elevator's on the other side. Do it. It's a long way. Look, something's not working. Hang on a minute. Fucking hell. There you go. How's the sitch? We're inside of clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Oh, such a beautiful view. Look at this city. So damn beautiful. Same here. Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security room. You're here, finally. Uh huh. I was beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. Mm. I don't like her either. She tries too hard. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year. Okay. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target. Hiromi Sato. Who are the other two? target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my know face. the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! 
I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Maiko, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I promised to help Judy. And here we are, thanks to her. But little Jude's cut from a different cloth than you and me. She's dreaming if she thinks she can have justice and peace in Night City without cuts, bruises, and blood. Meaning you want to replace Hiromi. Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect clouds from other gangs? Do you think? Alrighty. Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this- Hold on, Michael. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. Oh! What's gonna happen now? Yeah. Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away and never come back to clouds, or I end you here and now. You got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll chip. Not fast enough. All right, V, get out of there. Okay. Exits on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Nice play. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level. Waiting by the food stalls. You... You killed her? Oh my fucking god. You killed her? Given what I saw, I knew she'd be a bigger jackbooted tyrant than Hiromi. And that was reason enough to take her life? Wouldn't have happened if she hadn't come at me. It wasn't my fault. Sorry, but I don't buy that. Could have found another way. Yeah, maybe you're right. I let her get to me. I'm sorry things ended this way. So am I. I, uh... I, I gotta process all this in peace. Alone. Be seeing you, V. See ya, Judy. Alrighty. Mission accomplished. It don't matter. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this episode of Cyberpunk 2077, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys, recommend my channel to everybody that you know, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and every single one of you, have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace out.